A reading from the Acts of the Apostles The crowd joined in and showed their hostility to Paul and Silas, so the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be flogged. They were given many lashes and then thrown into prison, and the jailer was told to keep a close watch on them. So, following his instructions, he threw them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. Late that night, Paul and Silas were praying and singing God's praises while the other prisoners listened. Suddenly there was an earthquake that shook the prison to its foundations. All the doors flew open and the chains fell from all the prisoners. When the jailer woke and saw the doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to commit suicide, presuming that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted at the top of his voice, Don't do yourself any harm. We are all here. The jailer called for lights, then rushed in, threw himself trembling at the feet of Paul and Silas, and escorted them out, saying, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They told him, Become a believer in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, and your household too. Then they preached the word of the Lord to him and to all his family. Late as it was, he took them to wash their wounds, and was baptized then and there with all his household. Afterwards he took them home and gave them a meal, and the whole family celebrated their conversion to belief in God. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me. Not one of you has asked, Where are you going? Yet you are sad at heart because I have told you this. Still, I must tell you the truth. It is for your own good that I am going, because unless I go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I do go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will show the world how wrong it was about sin, and about who was in the right, and about judgment. About sin, proved by their refusal to believe in me, about who was in the right, proved by my going to the Father and your seeing me no more, about judgment, proved by the prince of this world being already condemned. The Gospel of the Lord